Hello and welcome back to VMware Tanzu KV TV. My name is Alex. I'm going to be showing you the contents of KV Article 90627 regarding the replacement of vSphere with Tanzu Supervisor Cluster Certificates. Now, this video will show you how to replace the Supervisor Cluster Certificates if they're expired or if they need to be rotated without updating the cluster. You should expect your certificates to expire one year after the latest update to your Tanzu Supervisor Cluster. So it's best practice to update your supervisor cluster each time you update your vCenter, which should be happening at least once a year to keep up with security compliance patches. I'll show you a couple ways that you can identify if your cluster is affected by this, starting with the vSphere client. On the vSphere client, you're going to want to log in as an administrator, click the menu, and then go down to Workload Management, and click Supervisor Clusters. If you click on this error right here, you should see several errors indicating that your supervisor cluster nodes have stopped posting their kubelet status. This is an indication that the kubelet, the, the kubelet certificate is expired. The nodes will no longer respond to kubectl commands. We can also check through the command line. Here I've opened up a, ses a session to the vCenter appliance, and if we type the following command, we can decrypt the password used to access the supervisor cluster. Now, if your certificates are indeed expired, this IP address will no longer respond because this follows the leader of the etcd cluster on the, on the supervisor cluster, meaning we'll have to connect directly to one of the nodes. Again, logged in as an administrator, simply select a supervisor cluster VM of your choosing. And we're gonna select the management IP address. SSH this IP address is root, and then we're going to copy and paste the password to gain access to the VM. Now if you return to the KB article, you can simply copy and paste this command here. This is a loop that will output all of the certificates on the VM and show their expiry date. Using the not after field, we can see that these certificates have expired as it's well beyond October 26, 2022. This list has a corresponding KV article here, 89324, which details more about what each certificate does. However, the scope of this video is mainly regarding replacing the certificates and returning your supervisor cluster to functional status. The next step here is to download this WCP Cert Manager attachment from this KB article 90627. Once it's downloaded, we need to SCP it over to the vCenter. I'm choosing to throw this in the temp directory, but you can put it anywhere you'd like. Unzip the directory like so. Now that the directory has been unzipped, you should see a file called certmgr. We're going to go ahead and run that file here using dot slash certmgr, the word certificates, and the word rotate. This will invoke the script and start the process to rotate the certs. This should hang for several minutes. You'll know it's working once you see a grid-like output indicating the status of the rotation below. You should expect to see something like this when the script is finished executing. We can scroll through and just make sure that everything looks okay. What we're looking for here is under the overall status column for things to say okay. We should see one for each of the supervisor control plane VMs. Looks like all three of them have overall status of okay. And our ESXi hosts show an overall status of okay, so we're good to go. Let's return to the vSphere client and check to see if the supervisor cluster has been returned to running status. And 
And it looks like it has. There are some instances that we've documented where the script does not function properly or fails to rotate all the certificates. You can usually find this out by seeing the overall status output as an error or that the process is exited with status one. It may give different information regarding what's not running or what hasn't worked. If you see anything like this that does not indicate that this process worked entirely correct, please immediately log a case with VMware Tanzu support so we can assist with rotating the certificates manually. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helped solve your problem. If you found this video or this article helpful, please provide feedback on the article by using the indicators here or on the bottom of the screen here. Otherwise, if you have further suggestions for future VMware KBTV videos for Tanzu, please leave a comment below and we'll take a look.